and welcome back to my channel. This is a tutorial on this uh, Valentine's Day cut crease. It's just this nice beautiful purple pinky eye look that I created for you guys and it was inspired by Jaclyn Hill. She did like a burgundy version and hers is really beautiful if you want to check that out. So that's where I kind of created this inspiration from except purple and pink. <laughs> this is also a collaboration with Kels. She is very amazing and talented. She's a really amazing person and she's fun to talk to and she's a really amazing makeup artist. I'm going to go ahead and leave all her information down below for you guys to check out in the description box. Go check out her video after this and go subscribe to her and go check out her Instagram as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. Okay, so we are going to go in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water and we're just going to spray that on our face. And this is going to help the foundation to adhere better to our skin. And then today I'm going to be using my NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. Mine is in the shade Light 4. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that because I'll just butcher it. But it's in the shade Light 4. This foundation you have to shake before using. So I love the foundation itself, but the packaging I'm not the biggest fan of. It looks like that. So we're just going to go ahead and drip that onto my face. Okay, so what I did was before my camera decided to really cut off on me is I dripped the foundation onto my face just because it doesn't have the best application. So you just kind of have to dab it on to your face. And then what I did was I took my flat foundation brush. This is the E9 from Morphe. And I just kind of wiped that all over my face to kind of spread the product around. Right now I am buffing the foundation into my skin with my flat foundation brush. We're just going to buff that in. I love using this technique just because it really helps to kind of create the airbrushed finish that we all want to achieve, you guys. So I'm just going to buff that in. And then just because this foundation is a little more full coverage, I'm also going to take a beauty blender, blender to thin it out underneath my eyes. I'm going to go ahead and take my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is in the shade Light 2 Vanilla, so I can actually pronounce that one. So I'm just going to take this and put it underneath my eyes and my T-zone. Then I'm going to buff that out using my damp sponge. And this you kind of have to be quick too, just because it kind of dries down pretty fast. So I'm going to take my yeah, beauty sponge and just buff it out in. All right, and we're just gonna go ahead and set where we placed our concealer. I'm gonna be using my RCMA No Color Translucent Powder, and I'm gonna take my E48 brush today and just apply that. So now that we're just gonna let that set, and then we're gonna go ahead and do our eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. And then I'm going to go ahead and set that really quick. I'm just going to use this shade from the Morphe 35B palette. And I'm just going to take my fluffy E27 brush. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and go in with my first transition shade. And it's going to be from the Too Faced Natural Matte palette as always. I'm going to go ahead and use the Cool Tone color in the shade Nude. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that with the same fluffy brush from Morphe, the E27. All right, so now that we have the first transition shade put down, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a second transition shade. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the 35B. I'm gonna use this corally orangish toned color. And remember, it's best to go light-handed rather than going ham. It's just much easier to build up the color. 
So now I'm going to be going to my 35U palette and I'm just going to be going between these two shades for the most part and then I'm going to be adding this mauve purple to the mix. Okay, so I'm just going to be taking my E17 blending brush. So we're just going to go ahead and put it in into our outer crease. So now that we have that into our lid, I'm just going to take that E27 Afalavi brush and blend that in a little. Blending is key, you guys. Now we're going to go ahead and go in with that purplish mauve color that I was telling you guys about. This is in the 35S palette. It's this color right here. I'm going to focus that on like my outer corners. There's going to be a lot of like going back and forth in this look just so that we have a nice gradient. Blend that out. And add a little more to the corners. And then we're going to go back into the pinks real quick. And then blend. And then I'm just going to go into this darker shade purple right here just to kind of darken it up a little bit. Add that other purple over there. Let's darken this corners up a little. I'm going to blend that purple into the crease a little bit. From the 35S palette, I'm going to add this light rose gold shimmery shade into the centerish, about right here where the pink is ending. So I'm going to take some of that shimmery goodness and get it onto my pencil. My pencil on my brush, you guys. Sorry. What is with me today? And then I'm going to spray to get that a little more pigmented since this is a shimmer shade. I'm just going to go right there. And then I'm just like lightly dabbing this product on because I don't want it to be too intense, but I want it to be slightly intense, I guess. I don't know how to make that sound right. We're just going to try to blend that in. Okay, so now that we got that set, I'm going to finish it off with a lighter shade in the inner corners and I'm going to be taking Cultured Curl, a loose pigment from Bare Minerals. I'm just going to put that into my inner corners. I'm going to go back to that light rose gold, just apply a little more of that to the center. Like I said, it's a lot of going back and forth, just so that we can get the right medium. Now that we have this all done, I'm just going to go ahead and wipe away that baking real quick. And just kind of set the face with the rest of the powder that's here. Alright, so I went ahead and did a few things off camera just because they're a little time consuming and a little more difficult to film, I guess. So I went ahead and finished doing the glitter crease with the NYX liquid crystal liner in the shade gold. It's a golden shade. And then I went ahead and did my mascara, my eyeliner, my false lashes, my eyebrows. For the mascara, I always use the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. Eyeliner wise, I use the Maybelline Eye Studio in Black is Black. And then I use the Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Pen to tight line. And then for eyelashes, I use something different. I bought, I went to Ulta yesterday and I decided I wanted to try something else. I went ahead and picked up the Eyler lashes and these are the texture style and I really love these a lot, a lot more than the Ardell ones. Um, so I think this is going to be my new favorite eyelashes to be picking up. I don't have to trim them at all which is amazing so they fit perfectly on my eye shape. They're just beautiful. I mean look at them. Like, dude. Dude. 
I really like them, okay? I have a tutorial on my eyebrows coming up soon, so be sure to look out for that. With my eyebrows, I create an outline with the NYX Micro Pencil in the shade Brunette, and then I fill them in with my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Soft Brown, and to fill them in, I use my E11 Angled Brow Brush to do that, and then I just set them with the MAC eyeshadow in the shade Charcoal Brown. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in the shade Radiant Bronze Light, and it is just this beautiful, luminous bronzer and I really enjoy this bronzer a lot. And to do that I'm going to be using the Shade and Light Contour Brush from Kat Von D and I'm just going to pick that up and go ham. Alright, so that's not blending the way that I want it to properly per se, so I'm just going to go ahead and use my E3 Trusty Brush from Morphe to get the job done. And then we're just going to go around on our forehead and our temples. I'm going to take my E15 flat brush to go ahead and contour my nose. I'm going to take shadow play and just lightly contour my nose. And then I'm going to clean everything up using the shade Lyric from Kat Von D. It's just a nice banana shade. So now that we have our nose contoured, I'm going to go ahead and go in with some highlighter. I'm just going to use the Bobbi Brown Pink Glow Highlighting Powder today. And it's just so beautiful. I really love this highlighter a lot. I'm not going to be mix it in with my Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop today. I'm just going to do the Bobbi Brown alone. And I'm going to use my 184 Fan Brush from MAC to apply that. So that's enough makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face real quick. I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray along with my Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. So I'm gonna be using these two together. These are my staples and I really love them. I love looking dewy and luminous. That's my type of makeup. So if you guys don't want to look so dewy, then don't use the Tatcha, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick, you guys. And then I'm going to spray my Tatcha on top of it. Alright, so that wraps it up for this video for you guys. If you guys really enjoyed it, please be sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Once I hit 1,000 subscribers, I will be doing a pretty decent giveaway for you guys. And it's going to be really awesome. So I hope you guys are pretty psyched for that. All you need to do to be entered into my YouTube giveaway is be subscribed to my Instagram and subscribe to YouTube. That's it. That's really it. So it's pretty easy and free. I hope you guys enjoyed and have a good day.